Welcome to my Buzz tutorial. For, to start I'm going to show you how to add a, a machine which is a, a generator that produces sound. If you click on the red icon here, New Machine, View Machines, and then you right click in this area, New. I'm going to use an adapter because I want to use a VST instrument. And I'm going to use Alchemy. Okay, there's my instrument. Okay, now if I hold down the shift button and then with my left mouse button I drag and drop to the master, it creates a line which means that I've connected the generator to the master, which means now this is connected to the audio device, you will hear it. If you want to get rid of the connection, you can right click the triangle there and disconnect the machine. Okay, I want to see the instrument, so I just double click Alchemy. It opens up the window. I want to now uh, configure this instrument and I want to use uh, a dance trance with pads and angel pad. That's fine. I'm going to use that instrument on this occasion. Now, over back up here, if you go to the view the sequence editor, this button here, this is the sequence editor. In here, I'm going to say that the sequence pattern is zero because that's the first pattern by default. Highlight it and press enter. It opens up the sequence editor. Now I'm going to place a few notes in there. And there you go, you can hear them. Back to the machine area. I'm going to right click a new I'm going to take another adapter, VST instrument, I'm going to take Alchemy again. Hold down your shift key, then hold down the left mouse button, drag and drop onto the master. It makes the connection. Double click the instrument to open it. Okay, and now I'm going to use a big tone with bass. And I want the ugly sniper which is there, thank you, okay, so I've selected the Ugly Sniper instrument for this device, Alchemy number 2, back over to the sequencer, you can see I've got Alchemy number 2 there now, and in my track pattern I'm going to put a 0, if I put 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 0, for 4 patterns, 4 tracks of 16 beats, um, to extend the tune, you do Control e for end, and that drops the line down to your cursor. Uh, if you want to do Control b for beginning, that will be Control b So beginning and end is between 32 and 48, those 32 beats. It will loop inside that area, Control b and Control e If I press... F6, it will start the tune from the cursor position. You can see it's looping in that region. Now I can add the bass instrument, the Alchemy bass instrument I've just selected. Press Enter. It goes into the track. And I'm going to select... beginning control B so now what I've got is 16 beats in each of these tracks and I'm going to press F6 to play it from the top now that's just using a couple of VST instruments finally what I'm going to show you you see right click new generator samplers and trackers and I'm going to select a, a, a Matilde tracker in stereo which is simply like a, a sampler uh, hold down the left um, hold down the shift key 
uh, and then your left mouse button drag and drop to connect them double click no sorry go to this area here view the wavetable what I'm going to do is I'm going to program the sampler with some with some samples so here are my samples when you go into this for the first time it will be blank you need to go into view your preferences you need to look at the wavetable and then you need to add some root directories of where your samples live and then OK that. You may need to refresh it to see them. So this is my sample directory uh, and this as you can see down here is E sample 2012 percussion. I'm going to go up one, parent, OK and uh, that's all of the directory of samples that I've got on my E drive. 2012 boom highlight number one and then with this arrow you click it it then loads the sample onto instrument number one okay highlight instrument number two I'm going to go into percussion directory and I'm going to add a snare onto there if you want to hear what the sounds are like when you're adding them you can simply click play and the boom okay number three which is a fat kick number four which is a fat kick one and that will do for now go back to the sequencer here's my sampler press zero highlight it press enter it goes into it this is all you see in the sampler. In here I can put the notes. If I press the C, C, C4 is the default sound. There you go. Press control and plus and it adds another track. And in here I can then add some more samples. So I'm going to select now the snare and I'm going to add it on beat 4 and beat 12. Okay. And control and plus for another track. And now I'm going to add a fat kick, sample number 3. You can see it's three, two, one. They're the sample numbers. You can simply go over and change them and it will change the sound for you. Okay, number three. Okay. So, now. If I wanted to do a different track, press enter. And hold down the shift key and do your cursor down button it highlights keep going all the way to the bottom now if you keep holding your shift key press down once it adds it all keep down again it adds just a track and down again it adds a block so you get options if you keep your finger on the shift key tapping down I want to copy the entire track into a new track so control C copy right click here new pattern pattern number one it's going to be 16 beats long yep go to the top of the beat and control V to paste if you didn't go to the top wherever your cursor is that's where the paste will begin okay so now um, I'm going to change some of the bass kicks that we put in there Okay, so that's pattern one. So I can change that just by typing one. There you go. And then one. So not one, not one. And if I go to the top and play that now, this is what you get.
Okay, I'm going to go into that instrument and I'm going to hold down the shift key and go down to highlight it all. Keeping the shift key pressed, now press the plus key 12 times, it will start to change the pitch. Each plus changes the pitch one semitone, 12 obviously an entire octave. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, let's listen to that track again now. back into the area. The final thing that you might want to do, let's just say that my drums, I want to give them a little bit more boom. Right click, new. I can put an effect in here now. Let's just say a phaser, a Bex phaser. Okay, hold down your shift key, drag and drop into the phaser, drag and drop into the master. Now, if I double click the phaser, it opens up a window and you can see that I've got some options here. Wet, dry, refresh, etc. I want it fairly wet. Okay. Uh, let me just have a listen to that. explain some of the basics if you want to know how to do further things simply press F1 and as you will see it will take you to the website where it will give you full instructions on how to manipulate every aspect of Buzz. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and enjoy your music making creations. Enjoy.